I'm going to start today with uh, what an advertising campaign is. Uh, today's um, topic is about advertising campaign and uh, why we should have a campaign to start with. What is the need for or why planning is essential for uh, an advertising campaign? Okay, when we're talking about advertising campaign, it is a process by which the advertising plan is created and integrated into the overall marketing plan and the corporate plan. The campaign has uh, obviously every campaign will have objectives. So does the advertising uh, campaign. So when you're talking about advertising campaign, what are the main important aspects to first to have a continuity? Uh, then there is uh, balance. So these are all essential to have uh, as part of advertising uh, uh, very important as part of advertising campaign. Okay, when you're talking about campaign, right, uh, uh, like uh, every ad uh, does have a campaign. When you're talking about campaign, it's just not a single advertisement. See, uh, we have been watching Maggie ad for almost 30 years or so, 30 plus years. So that means when we're saying that there are, uh, that the, the Maggie ad is there, so it, it's a campaign in the sense when we are talking about Maggie ad, the Maggie ad has been there uh, and uh, reinventing, um, uh, modifying itself and trying to uh, project itself in an innovative way. That is the entire concept of advertising campaign. That means constantly evolving, uh, constantly uh, trying to come up with the uh, um, uh, new ideas, there is a continuity without uh, uh, losing over the core theme. What is the main theme of the advertising campaign of Maggie? It has been uh, uh, Maggie noodles, okay? Constantly and consistently, it has been uh, talking about two minutes. So two minutes has been the base on which the campaign has been um, uh, premised. And there is uh, always um, uh, uh, there is a coordination in that, there is a balance in that, there is a continuity of the concept in that. So that way you have the campaign that goes about. But is uh, is it essential? Yeah. But how do we go about having a successful um, uh, advertising campaign? Because advertising is part, is part and parcel of marketing. So, so that has to go along with the marketing plan. So a campaign planning has to be done in a way that it um, uh, it justifies the resources that it has to be it has uh, that that has been put into it and uh, um, uh, the ultimate aim obviously is to uh, see to it that the brand reaches the maximum number of consumers and also the brand just not reaching the consumers but it also um, uh, it also motivates the consumers or uh, at least make the consumers think about the brand or make uh, the consumers towards making a decision towards buying the brand so that has been the main objective for successful advertising campaign and when the campaign is being made right different aspects as we have as we have discussed earlier there is a lot of research that gets into it there is pre testing that is done there is post testing post testing that is done so and there is continuous uh, effort to study the pulse of the audience and the market so that the right advertising message is conveyed to the um, identified audience and also to the target consumers and to the uh, 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 to the existing consumers, so that the uh, the uh, the resources that have been uh, put into the advertising campaign can be used effectively. And when you're talking about uh, uh, advertising uh, uh, campaign, uh, the things that we need to understand is its relevance or its importance. So before uh, commencing the planning of a campaign, right? So it is essential to study the market. Without studying the market, the um, the competitors, because you need to understand how the every product, there is not a single product in the market which doesn't have a competition, right? Every product you take 
the noodles category like instant noodles category you have uh, um, baba ramdev's noodles you have uh, um, uh, many other noodle companies that are there okay so um, apart from maggi you do have uh, um, um, sunfeast sunfeast noodles are also there so the, the campaign needs to be built in a way that it needs to uh, to create its unique selling uh, proposition its unique selling aspect and also try to um, stand out in the market so it is therefore essential to study the market just to study the competition you take uh, uh, washing machines category you have so many brands you have uh, uh, bajaj you have whirlpool you have samsung you have so many uh, foreign brands like um, uh, bosch you have uh, um, uh, like obviously whirlpool is a foreign brand and then you have uh, hire so you have so many brands that are there there are so many brands even in the mobile uh, industry mobile market but see when you talk about branding in the mobiles right nokia has been one of has been one of the first uh, entries into the market when uh, nokia ent entered the cellular or mobile marketing uh, uh, markets it I, it was pioneer supposedly the pioneer but now when you talk about mobile market it has it is the samsung that has, that is dominating but it is coming up with so many varieties then you have uh, xiaomi xiaomi then you have uh, many local um, indian brands are there you have apple mac products are there so there are so many new uh, uh, competitors that have entered the market that nokia like is uh, finding it hard to uh, and struggling hard to establish itself in the market for the reason that it is not able to reinvent the way the other brands have done so it is essential to study the market therefore for example the classic example is the nilofar cave nilofar cave when it was there in the market right in hyderabad you do have the nilofar cave so it was run it was like a typical cave where you have irani chai uh, biscuits and then uh, samosa you have that onion samosa and all that but with the changing trends it it realized that the um, the young generation no more wants to uh, sit at the caves and uh, this traditional conventional caves and um, and past time which was the so the case in the earlier times now everyone would uh, most of them would like to have uh, something more uh, happening place kind so the nilafar cave also unlike other caves which have uh, disappeared from the mainstream nilofar cave has been successful it's a classic story of success where a very conventional old type cave has gone about reinventing itself looking into the market pulse obviously it it studied the market and come has come up with a new uh, uh, redesigned its place uh, reinvented the entire uh, um, line of products that it is selling there and you just don't have tea that is now not only that can be ordered not only on the swiggy or on the um uh, or um, um as, as, uh, like other places so uh, you do have um, uh, these um, uh, new con um, like confectioneries biscuits uh, apart from biscuits chai the puffs and small like these three time snacks that are available uh, that made the place more happening so that way you find that uh, there, there is a constant need to evolve re evolve and try to uh, see to it that uh, the products are there to uh, 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 to understand the market so that's the that's the way how it works okay so market pulse is important and that's how a strategy is based okay a campaign is based based on relevance that's what is important if you are not uh, able to relate yourself to the changing market trends it is tough to survive so that's the reason why you find that always brands come with new packaging always brands come with um, some new um, concept new idea 
but without missing or losing out on the course okay so now okay so i think uh, i find one more usha in the group i think she's joining the class for the first time no ma'am it's same because i was unable to log so i logged from another account oh is that so because i'm seeing it as usha sri i thought uh, this is some new person so but i think there is uh, you open in two yeah, accounts yeah. through Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because it was like that one audio issue has been there, so that's the reason I have logged okay. in into this. So once I okay. tell you, then I can uh, I can log out from that account because from there I am unable to listen anything from that system. Oh, okay, 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 good. And Fine. I even messaged you, ma'am, because I uh, the link was disappeared from the online site, and uh, luckily I have uh, written the password and uh, this one. So okay. that's how I could. Okay, get back to the class. Actually, I don't look into mobiles when I am uh, having a class. It's a distraction. So generally, I don't. Uh, so I I make it a point not to. <laughs> I keep my mobile uh, far off and in a silent mode so that uh, whatever it is, I don't want to look into mobiles. So that's the reason. Okay. So um, hope uh, you understood the context as to why the relevance of. Uh, um, have you been to Nilafar or have you? Um, heard of Nilafar Cave? Uh, no, ma'am. It's actually there, almost about forty to fifty years old. It has its mm -hmm. branches spread out now. So it's a very popular place, hangout place now. Not only for the old timers, but also the youngsters are also uh, coming back to this Nilafar Cave for the reason, like it's uh, it has reinvented. You can order uh, food on the Swiggy and Zomato as well. so that's how you reinvent so that is what when we say relevance is many a times we are we fail to understand why we need to have in a campaign at all see the brand has been established or or there is some popularity or some acceptance for the brand so but why do we have to go about with a um, with a campaign or why do we have to talk about the products the 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 reason being this like until unless you stand relevant in the market it is tough and every product has a product life cycle and when you're talking about product life cycle most often a product is introduced into the market um so it could be a pioneer market or an existing or a competitive product so it could be a product in some form there is a brand a competitive pro product whatever the format the product might be existing the product passes through a phase and then it reaches a level and then it falls down and then again when the uh, uh, product uh, sees that there is a slippery um, uh, zone that's happening it tries to reinvent and unless you and it it is just not for the products for also the people okay for example you take the classic case of amta bachan right he was uh, like a uh, um, angry young man for almost say three decades two to yeah. three decades definitely he ruled uh, bollywood uh, or whatever hindi film industry but after that he realized that he is no there are lot of youngsters that have come into the market and he has he is a product right yes he is a product so he doesn't have that saleability as he has as he had it earlier so he needs to be relevant to the younger crowd how do he does that to reinvent himself so with that uh, mohabbate movie he came as an old man like mm. a, an elderly figure and then once that that aspect of his was accepted which other actors failed so as a product he tried to reinvent himself and once he got that uh, acceptance then kbc happened right kbc yeah. was accepted kbc became a huge success so after that he started to experiment with different kinds of roles chini kam where he was a chef he goes in for a, a young girl so there are lot of ways how it is when we are talking about product right product could be in the form of human beings product could be in the form of uh, services product could be in the form of goods goods product could be in the terms of institutions 
companies so what is important therefore as i have said it is relevance that is important and how do you go about with the relevance you need to uh, to uh, like take risks so you need to develop a strategy okay so especially for the products what happens there is a you you pass through three stages obviously you have uh, um, uh, um, like planning strategy like you need to take a risk if you do, the risk may be a success a, a risk may be a failure it's not every time that the risk could be successful so you have to take those risks so uh, so uh, okay we'll not take the example of um, individuals we'll take the example of a product so when a product is being um uh, when a campaign is being planned for a product so obviously you have different departments that get into the um the, the core discussion group you have representatives from the uh, the clients because they are the people who are uh, putting in money obviously when you develop an advertising campaign the campaign should not be as i've given you the example of vodafone right it should not hurt uh, or cause any kind of uh, um, debacle in the in the in the growth of the product so when i say product right it is just not the product it also affects the stocks a company a product is coming see when someone is buying a product from hindustan unilever hindustan unilever stock value is very high so if there is a product that is there coming there is an advertising campaign many of them don't know if it is uh, because since it is a diverse group people uh, generally doesn't go by the family name there are products which go by family name for example mahindra and mahindra right reliance they go by the family name uh, uh, kotak kotak company uh, right so they all go so some companies choose to go for family name some companies you choose to go for uh, each product name like hindustan lever unilever what it does uh, it goes different uh, with different names for different products different beverages so people uh, don't even know that it is coming from the hindustan unilever company unless and until if you are uh, a student of media or until unless you are very keen about it okay so generally that's the way how it works so unless you have uh, 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 so so it is essential that when you are you are planning a campaign the client is always there so you have the client servicing department you have the marketing department the creative people media executives where to place the media and all the media strategy has to be there developed uh, how frequently as we have talked about earlier how frequently it has to be do, done um whether to go for a celebrity or what are the tax rates is it worth going for print is it worth going for online is it good going for emails because emails definitely is very cheap you just log in and just post to their mail id so how it works what is the best way to reach the people so a combination of all these efforts right is what takes a campaign to be relevant to make it important and whenever there is an advertising strategy obviously there is lot of scientific campaign planning that happens it is not as though it is built in the air it is not like a it's not like castle that is built in the air what has to be understand is there are always objectives when we have an advertisement plan the objective being if you if you have um, remembered there is this ida model right what do we mean by ida model ida is attention interest desire and action it's a inverted funnel model so the attention when there is attention uh usha are you able to understand yes ma'am yeah are you able to follow any doubts yes, here no ma'am I, i was able to, uh, i am trying to catch where we are okay fine um so you it's have an ida model like it's a uh, advertising strategy uh, no ma'am yeah 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 correct so you have the ida model which which is like that's the basis for most that's the that's the basic model on which most of the strategies are based on so when you're talking about attention yeah many ads if you find that uh, the ads are creative or the ads are different little bit uh, 
um, off beat or you try to bring in some element of uh, emotion like dark be acha in the case of surf you look at surf ad right always there is emotion like uh, um uh, brother sister uh, emotion is there so the brother comes and asks i think the recent uh, surf ads the brother comes and asks the sister small kids like um uh, uh, like did you have uh, lunch then the sister says no um, like uh, mother did not uh, make biryani so the brother comes up and says let's make biryani the mother helps the brother and in the process he um, um like he uh, untidies like he, he he makes a mess of his shirt then um dag bhi acha hai so you use surf and then they say that yeah it is okay to have um dag um, stains for a good reason something more sentimental for saying something more emotional so an ad of this kind uh, you can it can draw attention to any person any uh, person like uh, for example like um, uh, the bajaj scooter it is a family scooter so it draws attention to the people uh, who uh, uh, like who who uh, uh, thinks about family and all that stuff it not that otherwise but generally so maggi also has some connect and that way so that's how it works so the attention is there but attention should also create that interest what is this about like is this really that white nice like so that's how to beat this concept you have tide coming up with that flash whiteness right. so that flashy whiteness is what is creating that interest and attention as well right once that flash has come yeah we know that it is only for tide not for anything else right so and yeah. then it should be able to create that desire yeah i need to buy this but all these three packages should finally lead to action when i go to a store when i go to the market when i go to a shop i should think of something that should make me choose from all the obviously washing detergent powders are all put in one rack at one place what motivates me to buy a particular product is what is so the campaign obviously you you do have the uh, until unless the bottom line is until unless the product performs no one will buy that product it just people are not so emo, uh, like uh, um, sentimental uh, uh, brainless people that okay i'm paying money and if even if the product doesn't work uh, i'm going to pay for the emotion content of the advertisement no one does that okay people only buy because it only delivers so given the 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 fact that all the products perform in the same level surf also does same thing tide also does same thing maybe there are few uh, elements like maybe there are some uh, um, nice fragrance is there with surf or nice fragrance is is there with aerial something like that so there is some uh, something that differentiates uh, apart from the price because nirma offers you the same quality they say washing powder nirma and therefore it brings you that um, dud si safed yes ha huh. so that that safediness is what that nirma is promising and nirma when a time when surf and rin were the main rin lost its battle to a great extent because it has been taken up by nirma because at a lesser price so uh, the manufacturers of nirma went to prove that at the at a lesser price you are able to get that whiteness so a bigger section of uh, people who were not using detergents because it was expensive detergent powder because it was expensive went in for nirma because it was also giving results so nirma still continues to hold a bigger market share in the detergent market industry so what ultimately matters definitely people would like to have but apart from that it is this advertising campaign that drives the uh, the the consumers towards buying the products it's very tricky you go to a shop and you may just it's like a swipe switch you want to buy one thing 
you see something else and you may end up buying that just to try it for the sake of it so it is a very tricky thing how to pull the people how to attract the consumers and campaigns advertising campaigns enable that and that's the reason why that is the reason why objectives are marked yes so until unless you have these objectives and goals it is definitely not so easy towards um, the goals whatever they have can't hear you <laughs> same problem ma'am okay same problem fine uh no the okay. uh, la- like last time uh, the audio issues uh, okay but are you able to hear me yes ma'am in this uh, in this gadget i am able to listen to you that's the reason I... okay fine okay um uh, so what were you trying to say okay let me focus yeah no yeah this goals and objectives are necessary to for any any kind of uh, yeah correct so every every work that we take up we need some goals and objectives without you can't be aimless and goalless no that's what we say so similarly based on those ida concepts you have on a different uh, uh, wavelength you have something like dagmar which was proposed by russell h colley who said that there are 52 advertising objectives 52 advertising goals and obviously you you run into 52 goals yeah we have to because ultimately the purpose why anyone would think why would i get into 52 goals to aim attain certain objectives but if those objectives are enabling me to to meet my target definitely i have to pass through them so some of these would be obviously to build up a brand image obviously to increase sales um and to build consumer satisfaction um uh, to build that connect with the trade channels okay to protect a, to come up with the corporate image so you have uh, um uh, what um uh, like able to um reconnect with the target consumers you have to be able to recall with the people so these are certain things you have 52 definitely uh, 52 may be difficult to follow may be easy to follow that's for the companies to understand but as has been put across you have every every uh, every agency for that matter comes up with certain ideas certain goals like to have a proper amount uh, what promotional mix to have a proper advertising budget how to position the product in the market um that is something like connected to unique selling proposition how the sales force have to support and how placing of the product is important that is availability of the product is important how to make it um, uh, a product that could uh, deliver benefits to the people uh, and uh, try to build about their brand image so you go to these things there are you have a series of things that can prop up right you have a lot of um a lot of aspects that could be uh, processed and these things needs to be understood to um, to be followed to bring about that uh, impact that relevance that importance so everything is obviously related to the uh, creative strategy so once you have that creative strategy coming up with creative ideas and obviously uh, with a media strategy plan a campaign could be successful so when we're talking about creative strategy every brand has a creative strategy because without a creative strategy the advertising plan will not be possible so when we are talking about campaign the campaign is just not one ad campaign is a series of ads so every season every season a company invests certain um, a lot certain amount of money for an advertising campaign so when you're talking about an advertising campaign the theme would be running on the same things you have so whatever you have seen about 2 3 uh, two to 3 years back those ads are not to be seen now because again people after time become it, it becomes a blind spot so you need to come up with new things so and that too when they they are making a campaign right you have series of plan, uh, advertisements which keep um, uh, coming up 
with little uh, modifications, uh, like same type of ads with little modifications. That's what advertising plan um, uh, strategy is or campaign is all about. So there is a creative plan associated with it. Now, Cadbury's is also one of the classic examples, which constantly reinvents, reinvents itself, constantly comes up with new things. And now I think even uh, uh, off late, uh, Usha also has come up with uh, um, new advertising uh, um, uh, series. Have you seen the ads, Usha? Yes, sir. So now they're coming up with new trendy for, um, uh, fans like earlier, people used to be uh, always, we used to think Usha means old types and old, uh, um, uh, uh, that um, uh, Purana types of fans. But now you have so many models that are reinventing itself themselves. Otherwise, it is definitely tough to stay back in the race. So that's how we, you have a creative plan, which enables uh, um, a, a strategy with obviously inputs from different uh, groups within the advertising uh, agency. And when you have all these uh, uh, groups um, coming on with a, uh, with a certain idea, certain concept, and that's how it gets as, um, designed as a campaign with obviously the approval of the client. So that's, that's how the campaign works. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Ma'am, uh, like uh, for uh, advertisement uh, campaign, ma'am, uh, how, uh, I mean, like, uh, how, uh, how, uh, uh, I'm unable to explain the question. How client is, uh, client is more, more important. Client is the one who is paying the money. Client for advertising agency is the manufacturer. Is the client is the one who is like uh, delivering the, means launching the product, or is the client who, who is purchasing? Here, yeah. I don't know. Wait, see when I'm talking about client. See, you have an advertising agency who is making the ads, right? Yes, is this clear? This yes. agency is the uh, is the organization that is coming up with the ads. So in the agency, um, there are different departments, which I'll be talking to you further later. So you have different departments in the advertising agency, right? Is this clear? Yes, sir. So um, for the agency, the manufacturer is the client. Oh, oh. So, so yeah. is this clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So because the manufacturer is the person who is paying the money for why will the advertising agency just make advertisements with so much so many crores obviously it is the manufacturer so manufacturer will either approach the agency or the agency may approach the manufacturer see the agency may say i have uh, uh, the abilities we have been running so many beautiful campaigns successful campaigns which created so much of change for the product and it can approach a manufacturer. It can approach uh, uh, Mahindra and Mahindra, or it can approach Maruti Suzuki, or it can approach um, it can approach uh, uh, Hindustan Lever. It can approach all the companies, saying that we have been running successfully advertising campaigns. So it can go about saying that on one hand. On the other hand, the company themselves can see okay, these advertisements coming from these agencies are really good. Let me go with them. So the manufacturer who becomes the client will go to the agency and says that you have been doing this, you can make a client advertisement for me. So it is the client. The manufacturer is the client. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Have you understood? Yes, sir. See the agent. But uh, if, uh, if, it, if, the, if the question is like this, like a uh, client service management is looked after in an ad agent by who? Yeah, so each who department has a unique place, uh, Usha. See, the client service department is the one, the, the one which offers services to the client. 
that means it could be uh, accounts accounts department when you call see you have a bank account so when you say you have a bank account that means you are a account holder in the bank um, similarly um, uh, mahindra and mahindra could be an account for bbdo an account for um, uh, for uh, um, uh, uh, ogilvy and mather can be an account for mudra can be um, account for uh, rediffusion so you are an account the client is the account for the uh, advertising agency see you need to understand three words here you have advertising agency you have the client you have the account so the agency can approach the client for account okay. the agency can approach the client for the account or the client can approach the agency for the account is this clear yes sir see it's like um, hdfc bank asking you to open an account or you can go to the hdfc bank to open an account both ways it is the same both ways is this clear yes sir. you have an account with hdfc so hdfc people you have so many people calling you no uh, open yes, an account you need another you, you need any yeah. pre approval no no yeah so that way so you are so just understand this simple uh, aspect then it becomes easier a company becomes a client to the advertising agency advertising. and once it becomes a client to the advertising agency then the agency makes advertisements for that account client account both are a uh, manufacturer these three are same client manufacturer and account are same is this clear yes see agency can have a client the client is no one but the manufacturer and the manufacturer the manufacturer is making an account Uh, the advertising is making an account for the manufacturer clear yes sir okay so now we are getting into understanding the evolution of advertising in india okay sometimes we may read this at the end but we sometimes we can start at the beginning itself so actually without understanding how advertising began you can't understand the concepts of advertising right so obviously it is a big process and one of the reasons why advertising has started so early in india is because of the british advertising in the way that we are understanding now the conventional form or uh, shoot um, shout outs or the now the shout outs that we are using in the it industry right you give a shout out or um, uh, um, uh, or a call out so these are all things that we have been doing in the old um, conventional santa markets or traditional markets but apart from the, but when we are saying advertising advertising has to be non personal the basic uh, underlying principle okay so uh, when we are talking about um, advertising um, uh, the way it has evolved obviously it, it went through a lot of phases before finally looking um, uh, uh, like uh, the way it, it is now and which may change also later okay the main uh, way is um, how advertising evolved is connected to the way the product also evolved because advertising is part of marketing right advertising is part of marketing so you have when the market evolved then naturally in correspondence to that advertising evolved okay how i'll explain so first you have something a production concept then product concept selling concept marketing concept integrated marketing concept and the societal marketing concept okay you have something like production mark concept when i say production concept what do you mean by production concept where the products are manufactured so and when you like to get a product itself was a big deal it like to have a product itself was a big thing so when you are talking a production concept uh, um 
um, uh, I think uh, we have we have talked about Mercedes Benz, right? Benz, like even till date, it is the uh, 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 one of the most famous cars in the car segment, high-end cars, extremely rich segment, car segment. So when Benz was manufactured, was was in the was uh, man, getting manufactured. So there were uh, uh, requests by different people. Obviously, people who were trying, who were buying the car, said that why, uh, why do you have to make it always in black color? Why don't you make it in different colors? Mm. Then the manufacturer of, of the, the the person, the owner of the Benz company, said, "Yeah, I can give you the car in the colors whatever you want until unless it is in black." So what was he trying to say? That whatever colors you may want to ask, you ask, mm. but I will be doing only in black. Exactly. Yeah, I can give you in whatever color you want, until unless like it is in black. So that was the levels of arrogance that a company owned at that particular point of time. Like they were, like to have a product itself in the market was a big deal. So that was how the production era. Was like to have availability of products were less, and the demand was more. Production was less. So from that production era, you have something like sales era. So once the production era uh, started to uh, 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 grow, then people realized that definitely people realized that there is scope for these products. There is demand for the products. So competition increased, and then. the need came the otherwise the sales era so there is a competition wherein now they are they wanted to show that okay you have to attain such and certain goals targets the concept of target started during this time even till date you have targets all like you you work with a, a bpo or you work with uh, any company you yeah. talk every company every person Target. Every person has a target. So, and like that, that because why is why will be their targets? Because there is lot to be sold. Why is there sold? Because there is lot of competition. Why is there is lot of competition? Because there is demand. There is demand. So, number of people players in the market have increased. Because the players in the markets have increased, there is need to um, uh, sell the product, and because there is has to be selling the competition. is definitely there so what the so that's the reason why you have targets so targets. always i yeah always i end up giving examples when you see old movies right movies are a classic example of how uh, uh, the tra uh, the, the transgression happened the progress happened earlier the the cars that were used only were ambassador then came maruti 800 If the hero owns a Marty 800 car, it's a big deal. Around 80s and 90s, early 80s, 90s, even the best hero used to use only Marty 800. Then after 90s, you have the luxury car segment that opened up because of globalization and liberalization, and as a result of which, now you see such fancy cars that you can't even imagine in your dream. So that is the development. so that is the progress that you can it's just not applied to cars to talk about mobiles earlier to have a pager was something that was carried by the hero from pager came uh, uh, the mobiles very uh, rudimentary handset then came the then came the new mobiles yeah now you have every person holding a high end mobile so you you see development of technology and that you can see that even in the films films are a classic examples of how you you observe now once i have um, discussed this with you you see how in old movies how the hero was using those typical only old cast if you use if you have seen uh, old uh, ntr anr movies uh, you see that um, boat cast those were only used but now the cars the, the, there has been a lot of development that's only because the competition there has been a huge growth in demand 
and because there is demand obviously there is uh, 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 the, uh, the the market needs to be explored and the competition has increased and then now comes the consumer era now we are consumers how did this happen the consumer era it's not that the consumers were not there even in the earlier times it's because the boundaries were restricted earlier india why till 90s where there are no bens cars no tatas no nissans no they were there but why they were not allowed because india had a policy wherein they were not allowing uh, foreign cars to be sold in the indian markets but with 90s the liberalization and globalization they opened up the markets and because of the opening of the markets even telephones if you remember to have that old telephone one line connection was a big deal people used to wait literally for one two years to get a telephone connection and people used to go to others houses to make a phone call trunk call was a big deal so now there is a consumer era where with the opening of the markets so the the demands the the needs have changed so there are some stated needs there are some unstated needs there are some real needs say there are some delight needs and there are some secret needs so you have different kinds of needs so when you are saying needs people used to for example let's take the example of um, cookers right earlier people used to cook in the vessels but when you are cooking on the vessels on fire or or uh, gas stoves or when your people are cooking on um on in the vessels okay the taste used to be different but constant problem getting food rice getting charred at the end or or if you forget it it's a problem and all these things cooker made life so easier for people so uh, so is this was there a need no but uh, was was there a need yes but it was stated no it was unstated need once uh the cookers entered the market it has been taken up by all sections of the society not one same with the mixes same with the mobiles when mobile was introduced into the market you know, people felt initially what mobiles will spoil kids and all now mobile is a need it's an so it's some... now yes usha it's yeah it has become tool. yeah 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 from a need, from a, a luxury it became a need from a delight need it became a necessity now if kids are going outside you won't uh, leave them without um, you if, if you feel that they are in a responsible age maybe in the teenagers you are giving them mobiles why for the reason that it is uh it, it it is a way to communicate with them you can track them where they are so consumer era with the coming of uh, globalization and uh, uh, and liberalization obviously the markets have opened up and different kinds of needs started to be satisfied now earlier or as i have said the benz car used to say they used to say that I, we would give you only as as long as it was black now they have come to a level where they can say that you want a rooftop opening we can provide you a rooftop opening you want back opening wherever the seat sliding whichever so you can customize the car according to your need from that state they have come to a state where they are ready and willing to as long as obviously they are uh, uh, their obviously their efficiency is not compromised definitely it is still the best one of the best cars people still go for that so in in terms of safety or in terms of its quality definitely it is still one of the happening cars but as i have said definitely they have gone through a different uh, 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 phase through which uh, uh, they, they try to understand the needs of the consumers and accordingly work and now when you are talking about um, uh, the societal marketing now you need products just not only for the uh, benefit of the consumers but also for the societies so growing plants or um, safeguarding water so you have now tools and products and services that would enable you keeping the society also into mind because 
if you are not giving back to the society obviously uh, uh, the natural resources will not be so just not only in the sake of uh, uh, this natural environment but also in terms of something like uh, um, uh, coming up with uh, uh, with uh, uh, with mechanisms to speak about um, dowry that's uh, a dowry uh, women empowerment the genocide um, uh, like feticide all these things so that is how the societal marketing also has come up so when you look into the history of advertising right it started with notifications just like the garment notifications that we see from there it moved on to persuasive uh, advertisements and when you look into the 20th century the way the advertisement it has tremendously uh, revolutionized the way the advertising has come up especially post uh, um, 19 uh, uh, 1950s also there was uh, advertising print advertising even Mom, your audio is stopped, Mom.